Mr. Dylan. We are live. Welcome to a very chilled and relaxed Hoff this weekend because half the people who come here went out last night. I saw them all there in this camping ground. No, it wasn't even a camping ground. It was like a cliff with a shelf and another cliff and we were sitting on that shelf. There was a fireplace, two fireplaces. There was a, a, another camp group of campers who were doing like these weird drums and shit <laughs> and we were there the we got there at night and it was the moon was was beautiful man it was beautiful Sounds so good. that's Sounds why good. it's pretty dead tonight but you my friend you cheers. uh you're here i'm here mr dylan cheers shots mm. and you were telling me that uh, you you're aware that australia is full of laws yeah so <clears throat> i've never been there but I know a lot Absolutely. of people that have been there, and actually who li- people who live there. And um, I haven't heard good things about the laws. So yeah, you know people who live in Australia who complain about the laws? Yeah, well, I definitely know people that have been there more, and have come back and said, nah, the laws are too much, man. <laughs> Dude, yeah. you get a fine for fucking everything in Australia. I think it's the price of the fine more than... It's the price, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The price, like the what you have to pay, is unbelievable. Yeah, it's, it's actually up, man. crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you earning, uh, so that's the thing. Salary like yeah, the the, the salary in fine. Australia is high, okay. granted, but like the the cost of alcohol and tobacco and all these fucking there's a fine every couple of weeks, man. Yeah, yeah. You almost have to factor that into <laughs> your yeah, budget. Yeah, you have to budget it. Budget it in, yeah. All right, so that's you. We'll take that one. That's take me. It. Yeah. All right. Okay. We'll get to get another guest on as well, at some point. What do you think about it being from Australia? I kind of summarise it with this, right? So, a lot of Australians go to Bali yeah. for their holiday, mm-hmm. and like it's the only place they can go overseas apart from New Zealand. But New Zealand is so similar in, in its society to Australia in terms of like you know the way it's governed and yeah yeah well so actually you, no but anyway it's, it's nearly copy and paste compared to bali for example where there's no rules yeah okay so australians especially those who go on footy trips and cricket like like uh, end yeah. of season trip always yeah. they go in fucking their thousands to bali and as soon as they get there they fucking break as many <laughs> laws as possible man. okay especially on the road you can't do anything on the road, man. You, that's the. If you have a car, guaranteed you've got phones coming at you. Oh, yeah. There's a program about it that I, I watch oh, wait, episodes every now and again. Wait. RBT or something. Oh, jeez. Random breath There's so many... It's like... It's so many TV shows are based off it, too. Yeah. That it's kind of like... Oh. Um, it's just... It's, just, it's like, all right, we've got to make these shows, so we have to have drama. So let's set up more checkpoints yeah, and fucking... Yeah. Get as much footage as possible and warn everyone about. No, we Dude, can't and do the, this, and can't the do drug that. test, it's so flawed as well. It's unbelievably flawed. Yeah, like I know. You can, you, if you smoke a joint today, and you can they, get they caught in your system like a two week? days later, yeah, or three days yeah. later, and all of a sudden you test positive. Yeah. What the fuck? You were only stoned for like 15, 20 minutes. You know what I mean? <laughs> and three days later, you're in jail. You know what I'm, I mean? Like, I, it's there's crazy. Gotta, there's got to be a way you can fight that. I'm pretty sure there's a yeah, way you can do, fight it, but like. That thing is so flawed, it's unbelievable. So, yeah. It's so bad. So that's but yeah, I do get. At the same time, how else do you how else do you like enforce the law? So do to you speak? wish South Africa had more in law enforcement in that sense? Um, no, not or at all. You, because that for us it would be a waste of time. That's not our problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's bigger there's bigger things to worry about. So <laughs> the law enforcement need to go other directions, not <laughs> not not checking who's drinking and driving and all that. But yeah. So that all at the same the time, of course, you you want to live in a place that's got a bit of law and order, if you know what I mean. You want to be able to kind of like get away with breaking a few rules, but when like it's endangering people's lives, like drinking and driving and things like that, it's probably best no one does it. You know what I mean? Even though we've all done it, and we, you know, <laughs> I I have to do it back home because there's no transport or anything. But at the same time, if something bad did happen, you know what I mean? That's bad, man. That's like. But do things you want to stop shit like that? Without that that same iron fisted ruling as in Australia, do you guys have pretty bad road statistics for yeah, crashes terrible, and shit? Terrible, terrible, terrible. And is a lot of it attributed to drink driving? Most of it, yeah. yeah. And it's like big accidents, like taxis and buses and things like that. No shit. All the time, man. Yeah, I've seen some bad shit with my own eyes, even. Have you seen car accidents? Yeah, like, dude, tons of. T- Are you the type of person when you drive past a car accident, you look? 
Yeah, I think everyone does. Yeah. yeah. I don't think everyone does. I think most people do. But yeah, I, I think like it's, I, um, I feel creepy doing it though. Yeah, I do, and sometimes I wish I didn't look as well. Yeah, because I've oh. seen some like. Ooh, That's what I mean. Like, what, see that. Why do you want to? Why do your eyes seek those things out just because there's a curtain around it? You yeah, know? yeah, no, it's, it's weird. one of those things. But yeah, I think um, I don't know. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. But it makes sense what you're saying that once Australians leave Australia, they just go like. Well, I mean, yeah, holistic. The thing is, it's the ones who can who can travel for a couple of weeks, like a vacation overseas is Bali for Australia. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, like, okay. you know, a, a, a journey out any further yeah. is um, maybe Southeast Asia is within that net, but, like, anywhere further than that, like, it's a commitment, so it's not the type of the same people who would just go for a vacation and just rip shit up. Yeah, okay. But, you know, like, we still... We have a reputation, Australians. Yeah, I know that. What is I know, it? I know, well, I know, I know from the sport side of things, so like uh-huh. cricket and stuff, I love to go watch cricket. And do you hate the Australian cricket team? Yeah, dude, especially, well, not hate, I don't hate them. I no, can't no, stand that's, them. Well, for me it's different, I don't think I have the right to hate them, so to speak, you know what I mean? But when the Australians come to South Africa to play cricket, best believe it's on. Yeah, we, we, we ain't friends no more. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's serious business, and... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's good fun, especially, I think, I've been to so many games, but Aus- the Australia games are always the big ones. Yeah. India as well, but Australia. Yeah. yeah and the crowd's fired up as well. Yeah. So best believe there's a lot of verbal abuse being ah. yeah. No, it's See, true. It's true. You do that in I, I, Australia, you get fined, you get fucking... Yeah, but you vil- still do it. Vindicated. We know, we know what's up. You reckon? Yeah, dude, I know. Dude, compared to the 80s and 90s, man. I, c- I read this article not so long ago, actually about um, how bad the Australian supporters are when you play in Australia. And the cricket like, supporters, right? Yeah, the cricket supporters and like Jesus. the verbal abuse the players receive Convicts. and things like that. And um, in that same article though, I must say, they did say in South Africa it's not, they didn't say it's non-existent, but they, didn't, they did say it's not very bad. <laughs> and um, <laughs> being, being one of those supporters, in the stands, I can tell you with complete confidence that article didn't know what was going on. Like, it <laughs> so it you, happens, man. Do you get involved when you're at the game? Oh, when I was younger, a little bit. When Mitchell Johnson, I don't know if you know who he is. Nope. The Australian uh, fast bowler. Mitchell Johnson? Yeah, there was a Mitchell Johnson, left arm. And he used to he used to pack heat. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so it was nice when he was fielding on the boundary to just um, try to rattle him a bit, just to actually help our team because he was that good, you know? Nice. So, but no, like all jokes aside, I wasn't I wasn't one of those guys. I just like to go watch the game, but I did see it a lot. I did see it a lot. I have to admit, I was one of those supporters. I've I've been one of those supporters, but not generally. Yeah. So I, I kind of <laughs> it, it didn't grow out of me. In fact, it got worse because I just got grumpier. My 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 <laughs> uh, sport of choice is AFL. Yeah. And my team is known as the team that never wins. Okay. Out of all the clubs, we're also the oldest club in the league. And uh, for the first time in since the fifties, our teams since I moved here, yeah, our teams gone nine wins and one loss, well, yeah. and we lost today by a point. Yeah. Well. So it, 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 you know, like I'm so like passionate about this sport that yeah. I, I take it too personal. Yeah. Have you ever seen you Moneyball? I, I started watching it the other day, actually. I didn't finish it. Ah, uh, so yeah. Brad Pitt's yeah. character, he doesn't watch the games because he feels like he's cursed. Yeah. So he actually, when the game's done, or when he, when the game's playing, he's always just sitting around doing nothing. Yeah. And then he finds out afterward what happens. <laughs> and then, oh, well, you watch the end. Yeah, I'll get to it. I know, I knew that much. Yeah, yeah. and so that's what I'm like. I'm like, okay. if I'm not watching my team, the amazing things happen. As soon as my gaze passes over the screen, or yeah. if I'm there live... I get this feeling that they're going to fuck up and it's like I'm manifesting it. It's just yeah. like, he's going to drop it. He dropped it. He's going to miss. He missed. Dude, there's a lot of that with like, um, I, read, I read a lot of biographies and a lot of them have been cricket ones and it always they always talk about like how their fathers or mothers or like family members can't watch when they're playing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you almost like that as well. Uh, right? yeah, yeah. I, 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 they know, just feel like if they if they watch, it's, they're going to put the pressure on like something bad's going to happen. I feel like they I feel like they 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 feel I, Your eyes. my eyes. Yeah, yeah. But also the the all the supporters, I feel we're all similar because we've all grown up with the same yeah. level of failure. 
So, like, we're conditioned to expect the worst. <laughs> and we're kind of surprised when the best happens. So, this last nine weeks watching this game yeah. uh, has been like that. And, and, in fact, there's been articles written about how the supporter base... Yeah. Uh, at the games, you can there's sh- camera shot pans of the crowd, and they're all just even when we're winning, they're all sitting there like, oh yeah, you know, like <laughs> we've, we've been sucked in so many times, man, sucked in. Yeah, to the bitter end. Oi, Johnny, 